If we look to the Quran, we'll find that 3%, 3%, you just take all the verses in the Quran that are of a legal nature, and then count all the verses of the Quran, take the quotient, and you'll find out that about 3% of them are commands and prohibitions, divine commands and prohibitions. 97% of the Quran teaches ethics, the relationship between God and man, the purpose of life, morality, other truths as well, this, the history of nations in the past teaches us how to be self-critical, um, how to use reason and faith, the extreme importance of using reason and faith, teaches many, many major themes. You know what I was taught when I became a convert? Rules, rules, rules. If I hadn't studied this religion myself and entered this religion and all I received were rules, 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 I would have left it the next day. Thank God I read the Quran first. If we're going to draw these indigenous people, our own children, that second, third, and fourth generation, those converts and non-Muslims into this religion, let us begin by following the model established by God himself through his prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. As he once said to Muad bin Jebel on his way to become, uh, take the dual leadership of the community in Yemen, as you all well know, he said, first teach them that there is no God but God and that Muhammad is his messenger. And when they have fully understood that, then teach them how to pray. And when they become consistent in that, and they've developed in that fully, then teach them about fasting during Ramadan. And then once they've accomplished that, then teach them what? About paying zakat and making the hajj. He said, make things easy for people, and do not make them difficult, and inform them of the glad tidings, and do not repulse them. Do we practice that here? We're trying to win these kids back over to this religion. We're trying to bring a, community, a people into listening to this religion. And the first thing we do is get them in that door. We tell them, okay, okay, you, cover your hair. You do this, give her the gold. Okay, don't do this, don't do that, don't do that. I don't mind telling the people what are the Muslim behaviors or, not, or, or whatever. But that's become our, we, we are obsessed with only that. When we bring people into our community, don't expect them to become Middle Easterners or you know, Arabs or Pakistanis or Sri Lankans the next day or ever even. Give them time to grow into the religion. Give them the space to grow. Give them the room to grow. Give them the right to ask. Give them the right to question. Give them time to develop. The Quran gave them 13 years in Mecca and then slowly but surely brought them along after that. We always put the cart before the horse. Give them time. Cheikh Saad Diab, non seulement il est un livre de la vie, mais il est un livre de la vie. Il est un livre de la vie de l'Amérique, Jeffrey Nash. Et ce livre, il est un livre de l'Islam, il est un livre de l'Islam. Il est un livre de l'Islam, il est un livre de l'Islam, il est un livre de l'Islam. Il est un livre de l'Islam, il est un livre de l'Islam, et il est un livre de l'Islam. وعنده فيديوهات تقدروا تفرجوها ممكن شي يعرفوا كيف ريلانش دخل الاسلام واصبح داعيا انما يبدا في تفسير سوره الفاتحه صدقوني والله العظيم غير عالم فقيه فسرها قبل اسلامه بعد ما دخل الاسلام توسع فيها وقسم الفاتحه كما قسم على بين المسلمين الى ثلاثه اجزاء وهو لا يعرف عن الاسلام شيء كان مسيحيا كان مسيحيا كاثوليكيا وكانت امه يعذبها والده على عبدها بقصف دعا الرب كما يقولون دعا الرب ان يموت والده ليستريح امه فلم يستجب الرب ما حبش الرب يستجيب فكفر واصبح ملحدا لماذا؟ لان الرب لم يستجب لدعائه بموت ابيه لانه كان يؤذي امه بعد ذلك تدرج إلى غاية في الشهادات وصل إلى خريطة بروفيسور الرياضيات أهداه طالب مسلم المصحف ومن ثم ومن تلك النقطة بدأ حركة إسلامه ودخول الإسلام وأصبح داعية وهو مشهور جدا الشيخ اللي يعرفه لأنه في واسمحوا لي إذا كان ساق الكريم من عند الشيخ لأنه هو أنا ما طيح في بالي ذكرى